MasterTech has brought you the introduction of the Dodge SRT4, the Chrysler Crossfire SRT6, the Chrysler 300C SRT8, and the Dodge Ram SRT10. And now, we're going to introduce two new additions to the SRT line of vehicles, the Dodge Charger SRT8 and the Dodge Magnum SRT8. Hello and welcome to the August Master Tech. In this month's program, we'll establish some of the many ways that the Charger and Magnum SRT8 models differ from the models that you're already familiar with. But that's not all we're going to discuss this month. In addition to the two new SRT8 LX models, we also want to introduce you to another version of the Dodge Charger, the Dodge Charger Daytona RT. We'll give you a brief look at this special edition vehicle so that you know what to expect when it arrives on the showroom floor. To complete the LX model update, we'll introduce the Charger and Magnum police car package and quickly review the special equipment available for those vehicles. We have a lot to cover this month, so let's get started by taking a look at the engine that powers the SRT8 models. The Dodge Charger and Magnum SRT8 models are equipped with only one engine, the very powerful 6.1 liter Hemi. The 6.1 liter engine is based on the 5.7 liter Hemi engine that's used in many Chrysler, Dodge and Jeep vehicles. However, the cylinders on the 6.1 liter have been bored out an additional 3.5 millimeters to increase displacement. SRT8 6.1 liter Hemi engine produces 425 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 420 pound-feet of torque at 4,800 RPM. You'll probably notice that the 6.1 liter engine looks different than the 5.7 liter. The engine block has been painted Hemi orange and the valve covers are coated with a wrinkle black finish. You'll also notice that the 6.1 liter crank pulley is smaller in diameter and the accessory drive belt is shorter than the 5.7 liter application. This is to maintain similar accessory drive speeds with higher engine speed. Since the engine operating speed is higher, the electronic cutoff has been increased to 6400 RPM. The crankshaft has been modified for the SRT8 application. It's constructed from forged steel for strength and stiffness. The pistons for the 6.1 liter engine are unique in both size and shape. The 6.1 liter pistons are not only larger in diameter, but they also have a flat top surface, unlike the dome top pistons used in the 5.7 liter engine. Four double oil jets have been attached to the base of the main oil galley to cool the pistons. Avoid bending the tubes when removing internal engine components as the jets require accurate positioning for proper piston cooling. The cylinder heads are a high flow design with larger intake and exhaust ports. In addition to the increased flow, the heads feature common left and right head gaskets, a unique 6.1 liter feature. The 6.1 liter valve train is distinctive for a couple of reasons. The camshaft is a billet steel design with higher lifts than the fabricated 5.7 liter cam. Also, the 16 hollow stem valves on both the intake and exhaust side are larger in diameter than those on the 5.7 liter. For improved heat dissipation, the exhaust valves are sodium filled. On the 6.1 liter engine, both intake and exhaust push rods are one millimeter longer than the 5.7 liter push rods. And the intake and exhaust valve springs have been color-coded for initial assembly in the plant. Also, a spring damper is used on every intake and exhaust spring on the 6.1 liter engine. A four-leaf tensioner spring is used for the timing drive on the 6.1 liter engine, while the 5.7 liter engine continues to use a double-leaf design. At the bottom of the engine, a modified oil pan with a revised windage tray has been installed. This windage tray manages oil return to the pan sump during cornering and high engine speeds. For increased oil pressure, the oil pump uses a unique spring on the pressure relief valve. This delivers the extra oil pressure required for the four oil jets as mentioned earlier. The oil dipstick and tube are unique for the 6.1 liter engine as well. 
The shape and length of both have been modified for the SRT8 application. The engine oil for the Charger and Magnum SRT8 vehicles is considerably different than the oil used in the 5.7 liter engine. The SRT8 6.1 liter engines are factory filled with 0W40 Mobile One synthetic engine oil. This is the recommended engine oil for the 6.1 liter Hemi engine. The 6.1 liter engine breathes through a new aluminum intake manifold. This new larger high flow aluminum intake manifold has been designed with longer and larger diameter runners that provide the SRT8 with increased flow at higher RPMs. Another difference found near the intake on the 6.1 liter engine is the location for the PCV valve. The valve is located near the front of the intake manifold on 6.1 liter engines. The exhaust manifold on a 6.1 liter engine is a true header design, meaning individual tubes for each cylinder. They're made of steel tubing encased in a stainless steel shell. This is sometimes called an air gap design, which insulates the pipes. Headers reduce exhaust pressure buildup by creating a low pressure area at higher RPMs. This improves the flow of exhaust gases. A 12 horsepower gain resulted directly from the addition of these headers to the 6.1 liter engine. Now, let's take a look at the fuel and ignition systems. On SRT models, the fuel and ignition system is designed for maximum output to provide maximum performance. The engine controller operates with unique performance-oriented software to control the SRT8 fuel injection. For maximum performance at all times, the 6.1 liter Hemi engine does not have the multi-displacement system or MDS. All eight cylinders provide power at all times on the Charger and Magnum SRT8 models. The fuel injectors and fuel pump for the 6.1 liter engine are also uniquely designed to maintain the required output for this performance application. Both provide a higher flow of fuel for the SRT8. One last point to mention about the fuel for the 6.1 liter Hemi engine. Premium fuel is recommended, 91 octane or higher. Similar to the 5.7 liter Hemi, the 6.1 liter engine is designed with two spark plugs per cylinder. However, you'll notice that there is no longer a need for the secondary ignition wires. The coil fires both plugs on the same cylinder. This dual plug ignition coil design is now used on both the 5.7 liter and on the new 6.1 liter Hemi engines. The 6.1 liter spark plugs are in a colder heat range than the 5.7 liter plugs, so they're not interchangeable. The plugs have dual platinum tips and the gap should be set at 50 thousandths of an inch. Now, let's take a look at our final engine related topic, the cooling and air induction systems. Heat management in a high performance application is critical. So the Charger and Magnum SRT8 models are equipped with a high performance cooling system. The water jackets on the 6.1 liter engine allow a large amount of coolant to flow through the block. To support the flow, a thicker cooling module has been installed and as a result, the cooling system capacity on the 6.1 liter is larger than that of the system used in the 5.7 liter applications. The coolant flow has been increased in the heads as well. This is to accommodate the larger intake and exhaust ports that require greater cooling. On the Dodge Charger and Magnum SRT8 models, the air cleaner and air induction system has been modified to enhance the Dodge SRT sound. To achieve the distinctive Dodge SRT sound, air passes unobstructed into the new larger aluminum intake manifold. One last item to note in this segment. You'll find that there is no exhaust gas recirculation or EGR system on the Dodge Charger and Magnum SRT8. Next, let's take a look underneath so we can identify what makes the SRT8 unique. To transfer the power from the 6.1 liter Hemi engine to the wheels, 
Charger SRT8 and Magnum SRT8 vehicles are equipped with the NAG1 five-speed automatic transmission as standard equipment. Both SRT8 models are also outfitted with a specially calibrated transmission controller. This unique transmission software calibration for the SRT8 changes the shift points, allowing the 6.1 liter engine to rev higher before an upshift occurs. A specially calibrated driver selectable auto stick has been designed to use modified logic. The new calibration is more responsive to driver input and will complete any shift as long as it falls within the limits of safe engine operation. The SRT8 driveline consists of stronger components in order to withstand the higher performance levels of the 6.1 liter Hemi engine. Four bolt flanges are located at the front and the rear of the prop shaft to connect the transmission with the rear axle. The only rear axle available for the Charger and Magnum SRT8 is a 215 millimeter rear axle that provides a 3.06 to 1 ratio and comes equipped with heavy duty half shafts as standard equipment. Now let's take a look at what makes the SRT8's chassis unique. The steering, suspension and brakes have all been refined to provide the Charger and Magnum SRT8 models with the handling and braking that you would expect from a vehicle carrying the SRT badge. The steering gear and ratio are the same as the non-SRT8 Charger and Magnum models. A rack and pinion system with hydraulic power assist. However, the SRT8s have a unique internal nine land valve system to enhance road feel. The front and rear suspensions have also been designed to give the SRT8 model superior handling characteristics in any situation. The front independent short and long control arm suspension has been specifically tuned for the SRT8 application. The rear five link independent suspension is also tuned to meet SRT8 performance requirements. Another SRT8 suspension characteristic is a lower vehicle stance a full half inch lower than the non-SRT8 Charger and Magnum. This modified ride height provides a sportier look and better handling characteristics. Adding to that sportier look and feel are larger wheels and tires. The wheels are 20 by 9 inch forged aluminum wheels that ride on three season non-directional tires. The three season tires are standard equipment in the US and Mexico and optional in Canada. A four-season version of the same tire is also available as an option in the U.S. and Mexico and offered as standard equipment in Canada. If the vehicle is equipped with the three-season set of tires, the tire widths will vary between the front and rear of the vehicle. The front tire width is 245 millimeters, while the rear width is 255. If the four-season tires are selected, all four tires are the same width, 245 millimeters. The Charger and Magnum SRT8 models do not carry a spare tire. However, they do have the tire fit system, which includes an inflator, sealant, and instructions for operation. A performance brake system is standard equipment on every Dodge Charger and Magnum SRT8. Four piston calipers in both the front and rear with a piston bore of 1.73 inches and 1.26 inches respectively provide the necessary grip while the ventilated front and rear rotors measuring 14.2 inches and 13.8 inches give the calipers more to grab onto. Of course, four-wheel ABS and traction control are standard, and so is the Electronic Stability Program or ESP system and brake assist. Now, the ESP system in the SRT8 models will function just as it does in any other vehicle meaning that the ESP system can be turned off or on by pressing the ESP switch. And as with other systems, even when the switch is turned off, the ESP system continues to provide a small amount of torque management. Beginning with the Dodge Charger SRT8, however, a three-mode ESP system is standard equipment on SRT8 models with the new Continental Tevis Mark 25E brake controller. Here's a brief description of how the three-mode ESP system works. The ESP system reduces torque management the customary amount if the switch is pressed and quickly released. 
But if the switch is pressed and held for a period of five seconds, the ESP system further reduces the amount of torque management provided. The system can be returned to normal operation by briefly pressing and releasing the ESP switch. The Magnum SRT8 will receive this feature later in the model year, when it gets the Continental Tevis Mark 25E brake controller, while the Charger SRT8 models will have this special function at launch. Please note that brake controllers are not interchangeable on LX models, so understand that the Mark 25E brake controller cannot be retrofitted onto any LX vehicle that wasn't built with this controller. Now let's take a look at the exterior and interior of these two SRT8 vehicles. Up to this point, we've been focused primarily on the engine and the chassis side of the SRT8. But even the SRT8 body components contribute to performance. Both SRT8 vehicles feature a unique all-new front fascia that includes an air dam at the lower edge that increases downforce and integrated air ducts for brake cooling. These air ducts are designed to route cool air across the calipers and rotors any time the vehicle is in forward motion. In addition to the unique front fascia, the Charger SRT8 is equipped with a hood scoop that delivers cool air into the engine compartment. The rear fascia has been modified on both models as well. On the Magnum, the rear fascia is all new. On the Charger, the rear fascia has been updated with a new lower insert that includes integrated lower strakes designed to direct airflow. The Charger also features a functional rear deck spoiler that's set on dual stanchions. The spoiler increases downforce for high speed stability and traction. The final exterior difference is the addition of SRT badging on the rear deck lid of the Charger and on the rear lift gate of the Magnum. The Charger also has a unique heritage style SRT badge set into the blacked out grille. Moving to the interior, the front seats in both SRT8 vehicles are power adjustable, deeply sculpted and highly bolstered. All of the seats have contrasting red stitching and performance weight inserts which are designed to aid in holding the occupants in position during maneuvering. The steering wheels on both vehicles have carbon fiber leather trim on the upper half, and the center stack and shifter bezel feature a satin silver finish. The instrument panel includes some differences as well. The instrument panel on both vehicles features a 180 mile per hour speedometer, a unique tachometer and temperature gauges too. On both Charger and Magnum SRT8 models, a driver configurable LED display within the gauge cluster indicates oil pressure, oil temperature, or tire pressure when selected by the driver. In addition to everything that we just covered with you, there's still a long list of optional equipment available for the Charger and Magnum SRT8. The remainder of the available Charger and Magnum SRT8 options are listed for you in this month's reference book. Now it's time to take a look at a special edition vehicle from Dodge, the 2006 Dodge Charger Daytona RT. The Dodge Charger returned to Daytona International Speedway in January of 2005 after a 27 year absence. For the 2006 model year, Charger has also returned to the streets. We've already told you about the Charger SRT8, and now we want to introduce you to another model offered for 2006, the Dodge Charger Daytona RT. The exterior displays unique Daytona and Hemi decals on top of two exclusive paint colors, Go Mango and Top Banana. Another exclusive exterior feature of the Daytona RT is the front fascia. It has a distinctive chin spoiler for increased downforce and a black honeycomb grille that holds the signature Heritage RT badging. The Daytona RT has the same functional rear deck spoiler as the Charger SRT8. The engine in the Daytona RT is the 5.7 liter Hemi, but for this application it has 350 horsepower. This 10 horsepower gain is due to unique PCM software, a uniquely tuned less restrictive intake system, and the unique straight through exhaust design. 
Similar to other Charger models with the 5.7 liter engine, the Daytona RT will have MDS. Moving into the interior, you'll find several unique features there as well. The seats have body color accent stitching, as does the leather wrapped steering wheel. The center stack bezel is finished in body color, and the cluster displays Daytona Special Edition at engine startup. A Daytona Special Edition badge is mounted on the instrument panel and displays the vehicle serial number. Watch for the 2006 Dodge Charger Daytona RT to begin arriving on the showroom floors in fall of 2005. Now we've already covered a lot of updates to the LX line of vehicles, but there's one last topic we'd like to briefly cover. Dodge Charger and Magnum police cars. Everything that makes the Dodge Charger and Dodge Magnum great street vehicles also makes them excellent police cars. They offer all the power, handling, and functionality that law enforcement agencies require from a rear-wheel drive vehicle, allowing them to effectively patrol the streets. The Dodge Charger and Magnum police cars are built from a mix of standard and optional equipment that makes them desirable for law enforcement applications. The LX police cars are equipped with one of two possible engines. Either the 3.5 liter high output V6 that produces 250 horsepower and 250 pound feet of torque, or the 5.7 liter Hemi engine that puts out 340 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. The 5.7 liter engine in the police package will have MDS. MDS improves fuel efficiency by up to 20% and will not harm the zero to 60 mile per hour performance of around six seconds. Regardless of the engine selection, only one transmission is available, the fully electronic five-speed automatic NAG1 transmission. Moving on to the chassis, the Charger and Magnum police cars have heavy duty brakes and linings as standard equipment. These provide the LX police cars with secure and stable deceleration and braking capability during high-speed maneuvers. Four-wheel ABS is also standard equipment, along with dual piston front calipers and a larger bore master cylinder. The police vehicles also have all-speed traction control and ESP with brake assist as standard equipment. The LX police package will include the three-mode ESP system, this is the same three-mode system that was described earlier in the SRT8 segment of the program. Charger and Magnum police cars are also equipped with four-wheel independent performance suspensions, including many heavy-duty components as standard equipment. The standard wheel and tire package for the police vehicles consists of 18-inch steel wheels and P225 60R18 V-rated all-season performance tires. A full-size spare tire mounting bracket is also included as part of the police package. Even the CAN bus electrical architecture incorporates some unique features, such as a built-in police taxi interface module, or PTIM, for the CAN B bus network. This is a programmable module that facilitates connecting electronic police equipment to the vehicle communication system. Of course, there are many passive and active safety features as standard equipment as well. These include the advanced multi-stage driver and front passenger airbags, constant force seatbelt retractors and seatbelt pretensioners, and a tire pressure monitoring system. Side curtain airbags are also available as an option. The exterior colors and paint schemes will not likely be the standard factory offered paint colors for the Charger and Magnum. They'll typically be painted to fit the specific requirements of the many different law enforcement agencies that patrol the streets. One feature that all Magnum police vehicles will have is a liftgate cylinder lock. This exterior lock cylinder is only available on the Dodge Magnum as part of the police package. All other Magnum vehicles will not have this exterior lock cylinder. As an option, police vehicles may also be ordered with exterior spot lamps mounted on the A-pillar. If the vehicle is equipped with the optional spot lamps, the interior A-pillar trim will be unique as well. In fact, there are several standard and optional interior features on the LX police cars that make them distinctive, including a steering column shifter as standard equipment, 
vinyl flooring, and a vinyl rear seat, both as an option. Standard low bolster seats in the front and rear. Standard rear occupant side door actuators that are located between the upper and lower hinges on both rear doors. An optional overhead dome lamp. And a standard center mounted police equipment mounting bracket. In addition to all of the standard and optional features that we've covered here today, there are still many more standard features included on the LX police cars. The preliminary list of these additional standard features is printed in this month's reference book. For additional training focused on the LX line of vehicles, we recommend that you visit the DCA Learning Center website and enroll in one of the many courses available. The site can be reached by selecting the Training tab from the Dealer Connect homepage and then clicking on the DCA Learning Center link. Well, that's all we have to share with you today regarding the LX model updates, including the Charger and Magnum SRT8, the new Dodge Charger Daytona RT, and Charger and Magnum police cars. Be sure to join us next month when our topic will be diagnostic and service updates, including Star Mobile. Thanks for watching.